Brother Ben Lockley. Deacon Shea Brown, what's up, brother? Y'all already know what to do. Like and share. I'm going to make sure all music is cut so they won't have any reason to cut me. What's up, brother Austin Wright? Sister Faith Hope, what's up? Sister Shamari Brown, what's up? I need everybody, y'all. We're going to do this. In a, we're we're going to break a record this time, y'all. We're going to break a record this time. Go ahead on and invite everybody on your friends list. Invite everybody on your friends list. Digga Jamal, you crazy. Oh, you would be the one. Sister Lacey Mallory, hello there. Sister Deborah Scarborough Utley, hello. Evangelist Shirley Scarborough, mama, what's happening? How you doing? Sister Myra, hello. <clears throat> Sister Marquita, Kiki Carton, good evening, ma'am. Y'all come on in. Everybody, come on in, please. <clears throat> What's up, brother Lolo? What's happening, man? We got work to do tonight, y'all, and we have uh, not a lot of time, so we want to thank everybody. Um, we're going to take time to deal with the uh, Vegas tragedy tonight. Um, I'm sure it's it's all over the timelines. It's everywhere. Hello there, Evangelist Board and Elder Board. Y'all pardon my voice as I don't give it a chance to rest. Uh, Sister Ebony Jones says she's coming in from Bible study. Hello there, uh, our research lady, Sister J.D. Cooper. Hello there. Come on in, y'all, and listen. <clears throat> we got to do this quickly, and y'all know now how this works. So I'm going to need everybody, first of all, bear with my voice. Pardon my voice. Uh, <clears throat> I, I, I'm preaching almost every day. Of the week, it seems like. Um, please, everybody, come on in and don't just share. Share and then write, I think it's under share, click invite. Hello, Mother Graham. Click invite. Sister Steph Kizzy, hello there. Night shift. That's right, Sister Doretha Winkler. It's night shift. Sister Siani, what's happening? Hello, Sister uh, Tompkins. Uh, Lord, Sister Shannon Gordon, hello. Checking in, she says. I need you. I need at least a few people who will dedicate themselves to inviting their friends list. <clears throat> Elder Sydney Roland McKay. Hello, sir. Come on in the house. Hello, Mother Anita Lee Mallory. God bless you. Come on in. <clears throat> I thought you guys would be asleep, but you're wide awake. And, and uh, it's, it's, it's time to start a party, y'all. We're going to party tonight. Um, <clears throat> again, uh, what's up, Rip? Brother Davian Lewis, what's up? Come on in the house. Listen, I need some folks who will dedicate themselves to... Uh, not only share, you didn't miss anything, Suge Robinson. I haven't started yet. What we're doing now, Sister Yolanda Best, you're here, and I'm glad you're here. I'm here too. We're here. Brother Tyrone D. Hinton, peace. Brother Rashad Jenkins, no, it's amazing. You see everything. I, I, I got a little bit of ice going here in, in my Fiji. Yes, sir. Thank you. Good to see you, by the way. Sister Mate, hello there. Brother Ben Lockley. Brother Ben Lockley says, R.I.P., R.I.P. <laughs> Brother Chaz, what's up, man? Hello there. Yeah, y'all speak to each other. <clears throat> Everybody, you know, we're, we're, we are the Warfare Wednesday family. Uh, make no mistake about it. Uh, we're, we're, we're developing a fellowship of truth seekers, uh, of people who are set apart because we, uh, we, we will not settle for the propaganda. We, we will not settle for uh, the bull that they're, that they're spewing out uh, over the so-called news. And I'm going to give everybody a chance to get in. I love it that y'all speak to each other. Different people are meeting each other. Latrice Morris, hey friend, what's up? Jason Davis, what's up brother? What's up, man? Sister Dorothy Cruz, come on in the house. I, I love it that we're developing a, a, a certain, you know, uh, there's been a certain aura. Uh, there's a certain a, a shameful 
bubble that, that are around people who think. And everybody else wants you to believe that you're the, uh, you know, something is wrong with you because you think. But ladies and gentlemen, tonight, I'm going to show you that we're getting ready to start a new trend. This is a new trend. I don't know if y'all are noticing it. And I'm, I'm kind of killing time. I'm kind of killing time. I don't know if y'all are noticing it, but this thing is growing. Okay, I'm not even talking about Warfare Wednesday. I'm talking about people spreading truth, asking questions. Brother Aaron Cruz, what's up, man? Yeah, Sister, uh, Sister Doris, call uh, Mother Grant, call me a nut. That's right. Hey, 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 listen to me. Thank you so much, Sister Lieber. We miss you here. Y'all, come on in. Listen, I, 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 I'm, I'm getting the feeling, and y'all know I'm, I'm pretty good with this. I'm getting the feeling that a lot of y'all are, are waiting on somebody else to do it. Are waiting on somebody else to do it. I'm going to need somebody to invite everybody on your friends list. Can somebody post directions as to how to hit the invite? Just in case somebody is puzzled as to how to do it. All it takes is a few people to do that and everybody to share it. Everybody like it and share it. Let's flood the timelines. Tonight, I'm going to take time. That's right. I'm going to take time and break down. I'm going to take time and break down the lies, the inconsistencies, and I'm going to show you how all of these events are scripted by numbers. They are scripted by symbolism, ritualistic, uh, contrived pre-planning. That's what it is. Thank you, Brother Lolo. Thank you. Let me know if you've done it. Let me know if you've done it. Thank you, Sister Shamari. Hit the share button and click invite friends and then start checking. Put them all in check. Sister Ashley Watts says on the iPhone, hit share and hit the search bar. Hit invite next to all of your friends. Thank you, Sister Chandra Green. Thank you. Latasha James, come on in. Thank you, Sir Siani. I just seen Brother CD come in. He's always doing it. So I know he's going to jump right on inviting everybody. The numbers are growing. We're at 60 and we have not even started. Tonight, we're going to break a record for shares. This will be by far the most in-depth and detailed Warfare Wednesday as it pertains to government affairs that I've ever done, probably. This will be the best one yet. Okay? Um... Yeah, appreciate you, man. Appreciate you. Thank you, Sister Sherry Kelsaw Tompkins. God bless you. Pray it for you and your family tonight. Just pray it for you. That's all. Thank you, Sister Marquita. The numbers are growing. I'm not going to waste a lot of time. I have a lot to talk about, and I'm pretty sure. Let me just give you all a, 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 a disclaimer now. When I start to say certain things, thank you, Sister Kashara. Thank you, Sister Ebony. You did it twice. And I want to say thank you. Thank you. That's twice. I appreciate you big time. Oh, wow. Tanya Smith, Sister Tanya Smith, you got to go back and get our last 11. When I tell you that we have went over everything you can imagine, go get our last 11 Warfare Wednesdays and share them all. It is better than TV. I promise you that. Tonight, I'm going in. Tonight, I'm going in. I, I don't think, and I would say it, I, I say this humbly. I don't think I've ever left y'all hanging. I don't think I've ever wasted your time. I don't aim to waste time. I don't have time to waste. So please invite, invite, invite. When we get to 80, I'm going to start. When we get to 80 people live, I'm going to start. We're at 65. We're at 65. When we get to 80, I'm going to start. Um, let me give a disclaimer now. Thank you, Aaron Cruz. Thank you, Yolanda Bass. Thank you, Malika White. Yeah, it's going down. You heard about Warfare Wednesday. Now you're going to experience it. We're at 71. When I get to 80, it's popping. Now, let me just say this. Thank you, Sister Tanya. Don't wear I can invite. Not sure what you mean, Brother Rip. D'Angelo Thompson hates it. Oh, he's speaking. Ray Monika Bull. I want you to visit our church. Somebody post the address to our church from Sister uh, Ray Manika. 
And welcome, by the way. Sister D-Rob, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Sister Belinda, thank you so much. Hello there. Sister Tara, nobody told you we were on. Oh, you got to check. You got to check, dog, no, baby. You got to check, Sister Tara. You got to check. By the way, that's my cousin, y'all. That's why I call her dog. Don't, don't y'all saints check me at the door for calling her dog, baby. That's my cousin. Uh, I, I need y'all to get this. I need y'all to get this. Everybody, it's getting ready to go down. I'm going to do a complete explanation. Well, as comprehensive uh, of a study as possible, explaining to you how these numbers work. Okay? Thank you, Mama. Sister TT, thank you so much. Checking in. Brother Thomas Woods and Miss Woods. Shout out to Miss Woods. Enjoy talking to you. God bless you. That's West Clay. Dwayne Crooks. It's West Clay. 4108 West Clay. By the way, last Sunday was nothing short of a miracle. Uh, not only did God show up, demons were cast out in live service. Ten people came and joined the church from Warfare Wednesday pretty much. It's unbelievable what's going on. I'm at 78. When I get two more people, I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping. Let me give y'all a disclaimer before I get going. I'm at 79. Let me give y'all a disclaimer before I get going. Thank you, Sister Belinda. They are known to cut me off. They, I'm in Richmond, Virginia. Welcome, brother. Uh, is that brother or sister Collins? I'm not sure. Charge that to my head, not to my heart. We're at 81. We're getting ready to start. I want to welcome everybody. Let me give you a disclaimer. The, the powers that be are cutting me off when I get to certain information. So all of my Warfare Wednesday people know that when I get kicked off, go right back and look for me to come on within a couple minutes. Okay. If I get kicked off, I'm going to come right back in. Everybody needs to come right back in the room and keep checking for me because the powers that be cut me off because of the information. We're not even questioning that anymore. If you saw what happened Monday, you now know that somebody is watching somewhere. You know that somebody is watching. Derek Hood checking in. Rashad Jenkins said 80 is in the building and I'm getting ready to start. All right, ladies and gentlemen, everybody knows why we're here. It's Warfare Wednesday at nighttime. Thank you, Dwayne Crooks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming, man. I appreciate it. Now, for those who have not followed our work, some of this may seem somewhat confusing. It is important. It is important that you all go back. It is important that you all go back and watch my previous videos. They are more than interesting. They Listen to me. They are better, I promise you. They are good. Now, let me say this. Because I'm being watched now, and when I say watch, y'all can call me crazy. I don't care. For those that saw it last week, how many of y'all agree? How many of y'all will agree that they are watching us? That they are watching us? When I say they, I'll get into that in a minute. Somebody's cutting us off at key points of information. It's not me. I went through one phone that's broke. I went through one phone that's broke. I got the other phone here. So I'm limited on my sources. I got to get a new phone. I ain't worried about that. God going to provide. What I'm telling you, Sister Virginia Marlene Coles, come on in. Yes, I was booted continuously. Now, let me explain this to y'all. Uh, if y'all are ready, uh, let's begin. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you tonight. Send angels tonight, God, right now to take full authority in your name over the airwaves, over the internet, and over all technology tonight. We come against the enemy, every hater, every naysayer, every witchcraft, uh, every bit of witchcraft that's spoken or done that's prayed against us. We bind it up right now. We destroy it, cut it down. And Lord, we loose ministering spirits of clarity, understanding, Father God, that the people might see what has been uh, kept from them uh, as a result of the occult. 
things that are hidden. God, we bless your holy name. We thank you for these wonderful people. I count it a privilege to stand before them. And even though, God, we're talking about natural things more than spiritual things at this moment, God, we ask that you would give us the strength and the might to do so. In Jesus' name, amen. Tonight, I figured I'd open up with prayer. That's okay. Uh, first time from D.C., Tierra Blazing, Bobby Coles. Listen, if y'all been following me, I got to lay the groundwork. Sister Kendi Lewis, welcome one of our new members amongst many. Shout out to the Bells. Uh, shout out to Sister Brittany Bell. Shout out to Sister Chandra Green. Shout out to a man there everywhere. I'm just grateful tonight. Okay, I'm grateful. They're coming from everywhere. They're coming to the Word Church. And, and let me tell you this. Let me start for all my sports fans. And that's going to bring us up to Vegas. So I need you all to be patient. If I get kicked out, just come right back in, okay? Because we already know that they're watching us. When I say that they're watching us, before I get to the sports, I need y'all to listen up, okay? Here we go. Facebook is, I need y'all to understand something about why I say Facebook is watching us. Every one of you all that signed up for Facebook, one day I'll do a complete exposure. I will expose Facebook. And that's weird because I'm on Facebook. I will walk you through what Facebook was designed to do, how it was created. The owner of Facebook is named uh, Zuckerberg or something like that. Mark Zuckerberg or something like that. I may be saying it wrong. Y'all get the point. For all of you all that signed up for Facebook, your very first friend was the little white guy at the bottom smiling with the golden boy smile like Joel Osteen. Uh, somebody put his name up. You know, he's everybody's friend on Facebook. Now, let me explain this to you. Yes. Thank you, Austin. Thank you, Austin. He is a 33rd degree Mason. I need you to understand this. He is a Mason. Mark, I think is supposed to be uh, Zuckerberg or something. Well, that isn't his real name. That is not his real name. That is not his real name. Whenever I tell you that something is not somebody's real name or someone's name is not, you all should know by now to go and not question me, but go and research it and then come back and say, Pastor, you're right. Tom was MySpace, Derek. Uh, Derek, could, everybody applaud Derek Hood. Derek Hood is high tonight. Derek Hood went back to MySpace. God bless you, sir. Uh, let me just say this. Tom... Uh, is MySpace. Mark Zuckerberg is the creator. Shout out to some people I see coming in. Mark Zuckerberg is the creator uh, or credited as the creator of Facebook. Now, I got to do this quickly in case y'all see me being cut off. Okay. I need you to get this. That is not his real name. Just like Martin Luther King. Remember last week we learned Martin Luther King's real name is not Martin Luther King. Remember when the Floyd Mayweather fight came? Warfare wins. They told y'all that Floyd Mayweather is not his real name. That these names are given to them to fulfill a script. I am telling you right now. I am telling you right now, ladies and gentlemen. That is not his real name. Now. Facebook is a branch of the CIA. The CIA. Okay, that intelligent intelligence agency. Y'all know what that means, right? I need you to understand. Thank you, De Deacon Shea. Jacob Greenberg is his real name. Jacob Greenberg is his real name, and he is a Jew. Okay, I keep a fake Jew. Okay, I need y'all to get this. Before I even get started, they, they probably going to try to boot me out of here. When I start telling y'all, so if I get booted out, just come on back in, okay? Watch this, y'all, okay? Thank you for joining, Allison. Whoever you are, thank you so much. I hope you get addicted to the truth. Now, I need you to get this. Mark Zuckerberg is your first friend when you join Facebook. The riddle is this. I need somebody right now who has an extra phone or a laptop. Okay, Brother Rodney Johnson said if false flags don't work no more, we won't. Almost. Jew Kevin Stokes pointed out something I say often. You're right, Brother Stokes. 
That's why they're called Jewish. When you hear the term Jewish, that's a riddle to let you know they're not real Jews and they know they're not. So they use the term Jewish. Okay. Mark Zuckerberg is everybody's friend. Now, if y'all don't want to believe me, I like to give y'all information you can't get from nowhere else. That's what we do here on Warfare Wednesday. And you'll see why uh, I, my life has been threatened. You'll see why they try to blackball me in Richmond. You'll see why none of the preachers want to deal with me. And you'll see why everybody's trying to stop my mouth. Let me tell you what's going on right here. Mark Zuckerberg, go right now. Everybody who can, don't leave the room. But can somebody go right now and look for Mark Zuckerberg? Your Facebook man, the Facebook creator, who is your friend. Hello, Brandy Mitchell. He is your friend. He is your friend. Try to block him right now. You know how y'all do when y'all get mad and think somebody hating on you and blocking folk and uh, all this other stuff? Try to block right now. Try to block him like you block everybody else. <laughs> Try to block him right now. Can somebody do it and tell me if you can do it? Try to block him because there's a riddle that they don't want you to know about Facebook. Go to your friend right now. If you can't find him, okay, that's right, Brother Chaz. If you can't find him, just go to his page. Just punch in him in the search bar, okay? Oh, he is your friend. I promise you he is. Hey, Sister Tammy Smithson. Mate says she tried it. It doesn't work. Doris Graham said it doesn't work. I need you to understand. JT Thompson tried it. He said you can't block him. Have you noticed the only person on Facebook you cannot block is Mark Zuckerberg? Before I even get started telling you what's going on in Vegas and in sports, I got to start with the fact that Facebook is kicking me out. He's your administrator, but there's a riddle, Brother Kevin. It doesn't work. See, I'm showing you something already. You cannot, Aaron Cruz says I'm right. You cannot cut him because when you sign up for Facebook, none of you all, if you're like me, read the small print that says you give up access to all personal information in your phone. Thank you, Mimi Archer. Thank you. I appreciate you saying that. You don't know how much it means to me. Now, thank you, Cornelia Bunch Pearson says that I'm dead on. I want you to get this. He can't be blocked because when you sign your rights, when you agree to the terms, you didn't know you agreed to let him have your pictures, your text messages, and all personal information. And it is not against the law because you agreed to it trying to hurry up and start a Facebook page. OK, I'm trying to show you that Facebook has also opened up and I got to get off of this. I got to get off of this. Everybody that's typing right now is trying it. So don't nobody come talking about Pastor Rob making up stuff. I, I like to show and prove when I came on here last week and I told y'all contacts and all they know everything in your phone. All y'all to be sending pictures of your, uh, of your private parts, uh, telling people cheating on your husband and wife. They know. You're not crazy, Joyce Hall. You come to the right place. They are the fake Jews. That's why they're called Jewish. Now, I'm going to get to some real business in a minute. Okay? Now, it is rumored. Notice when I give you information, if I cannot prove it, I'll say it's rumored. And I, this is the first time I've said it's rumored in 11 weeks. It is rumored that he is the grandson of... Of David Rockefeller. Okay. So everybody that see how I'm giving it up right now. you I'm not just giving you information. Conspiracy theories. I'm letting you try it out. You can't cut. Okay. That's my cousin y'all. Brandon Myers. What's up brother. What's up man. Love you man. Listen to me good. Listen to me good. You can't block Mark Zuckerberg. Because Mark Zuckerberg has a right to watch everything you do and he can't, you can't do nothing about it. Okay? Now, let's get to business. I'm ready to get to business. Uh, 
So Facebook has that. I want you to hear this. That's why they can cut me off when I talk too much. Now, let's get to business. Y'all ready? Let's go. Everybody that don't know about sports, give me five to ten minutes to clear all my sports fans out the way so I can get to Vegas. Okay? I need you to get this. Thank you, London Lou. Welcome, by the way. Okay? Already you're learning. Forget all that small talk and all the stuff folk talking about. If you ain't learning nothing, pardon my English, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? I see the people throwing off and all this other stuff going on on Facebook, uh, you know, uh, trying to downplay what we got going on. This, this is real. We bring it every Wednesday and y'all bring it every Wednesday. I learn from y'all. That's what I love about the fellowship. Now, let's get to business. Everybody that was on here last Wednesday, we got to do this quick. Okay? We got to do this quick. Last Wednesday, last Wednesday... I came on here and I told y'all to watch for the numbers. Watch this. I told y'all to watch for the numbers 47 and 50. Y'all with me? I got to do this quickly. How many of y'all remember that? Come on, put it on the screen so people can see it. If I didn't, call me, tell me I'm a liar and tell me I didn't. How many of y'all remember last Warfare Wednesday, I told y'all to watch for 47 and 50. For those that just came in, go back and watch the video. I just exposed to you about Mark Zuckerberg, the owner of Facebook, and what he does, how you cannot block him or cut him off your friends list. Okay? You see the people saying yes? They're saying yes. I told y'all to watch 47 and 50. Okay? Now, the, that was last Wednesday, Warfare Wednesday. Thank you, Rip. And Brother Rip is one of the few people. I got to give credit where credit is due. Brother Davian Lewis is one of the only people that have been posting these numbers well before it has become popular now. So I got to give credit to him in the words of Deacon Shay's salute. Okay? Now, everybody's telling you I said 47 and 50 on Wednesday. On Thursday night, I was preaching at our Tidewater Church. We have a Norfolk location. To those who are watching me in the beach area, we meet at 1570 North Military Highway, the Holiday Inn on Thursdays. While I was in there, while I was in there, while I was in there teaching, I had no idea about the Thursday night football game. By the time I woke up Friday morning, you all were flooding my timeline, telling me how the game was delayed they had a weather delay, I think it was, on Thursday night football, and it was a 47-minute delay. Y'all ain't listening to me. Go and look at my page. If you're not my friend, request me to be my friend and look up and down my timeline of the people posting last Friday. I told everybody 47 and 50 was key numbers, and the next day, you don't even have to wait on it. Did y'all hear what I just said? I, 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 I'm the book. You don't even got to look. The next night, and, and look look at Ben Lockley. Look what Ben Lockley just said. It was a 47-minute delay that stopped on the 47-yard line. Now, how did we know that? I'm going to say we. How did we know that? Because this stuff is scripted. Professional sports is scripted, and that's one example. Now, I like to let y'all think y'all, you know, I, you know we playfully push each other. And y'all been doing such a good work. Y'all been doing such a good work that I had to, I couldn't let y'all beat me. Y'all missed something last week in sports. Rashad, some of y'all sports people, Deacon Shea, some of y'all sports junkies that love the game like I love the game. Y'all missed something. Cam Newton played New England Patriots. Played who last week? New England Patriots played who last week? I'm still telling Fiji cut the check. New England Patriots paid who last played who last week? The Panthers. Did you know Cam Newton scored his 50th touchdown last week? 50th touchdown last week. You missed that. I told you watch for 47 and 50 
Don't worry, everybody in here, I know you. everybody don't like sports. I'm going to get to Vegas in a second. I got to do this for my sports fans. Cam Newton scored his 50. I didn't get that from Zach or nobody else. That's Pastor Ron. You can check all his videos. He don't even mention it. He scored his 50th touchdown after the 47-minute delay. Now, if that weren't enough, Monday night football or uh, Monday night football, okay? Monday night football, the Redskins played the Kansas City Chiefs, which is a battle, which is a battle of hidden race, uh, racial tension, black on black. I don't have time to go back and explain how Indians were never Indians. We'll do that some other time. How black people were here before black people were brought here. How Indians were called Indians because they thought they were, they were when Columbus got here, he didn't even get off the boat. He got here and he made a mistake and landed where he landed. And he saw these people and he thought they, they were in India. So he called them Indians. I'm not going through all that tonight, but I got to put y'all up on game. Okay. When he got there, the Washington Redskins is actually a black logo. If you look at the original Washington Redskins logo, I don't want to stay here too long. I'm going to get to Vegas. It's actually a picture of a black man that you think is an Indian. Okay? Indian is a derogatory term. All right? But for lack of better words, I'm going to use it. By the way, Tyrone D. Hinton just brought it up. I also told you always watch for the numbers 33, and the Panthers game ended with a score 33 to 30. In that game Monday night, after I came on here and did a special update, in that game, oh my God, I'm getting hyped right now. Thank you, Lord. Watch this. In that game, Monday night, after I got on Monday evening, they had a freak play at the end of the game. They had a freak play at the end of the game. And if you watched it, I posted it on my page. Number 50, which is a defender, a linebacker on defense that should never be scoring touchdowns, picks up a fumbled ball and runs it in for a touchdown. And the commentator said these words. The commentator, I got it on there. Number 50. And guess what his last name was? Shout out to Deacon Jamal for thinking about this right away. The name of the guy was named Houston. Houston. Oh, I'm about to show y'all something now. I'm getting ready to open this up. I told y'all. What did you miss? Shout out to PT Goo, WCLM, Preston Brown in the house. Let me say this real quick. I told y'all Monday. Can somebody, if y'all remember me coming on for that special update could you just tell everybody that I really did come on Monday talking about 50 and I told everybody go and watch the game and watch the script. I said, I, I'm, I said, let me go ahead and leave so we can go watch this little game and see what they're going to put in the game because 50 is a key number, which is five. OK, how many of y'all remember me doing that on Monday and then Monday night right after I said that number 50 runs in a touchdown. Rashad Jenkins says I did. Rodney Johnson says I did. Tyra Rochelle says I did. Come on, y'all. I told y'all. Never mind all of that. Kashira Boone Lane says I did. Yes, I did. Now, why am I doing that? Sister J.D. Cooper says I did. Brother Rip says 100. Doris Graham says yes. Chandra Grease oh, says thank you for joining. I'll take that too. Okay? Sister Steph Kizzy don't even watch football. Don't worry. I'm going to explain this to you. Because if you think this don't have nothing to do with Vegas, I am showing you all. And I, Michael Newvale said, yeah, TT, Sister TT Barber said, yes. Now watch this. You need to go watch my past videos. In my past videos, my past videos will tell you. Thank you, Minister Rod, Roderick Baskin. God bless you, sir. Listen good. My past videos explain to you how the fake Jews... Okay, that's why I'm giving you education. I'm giving you education. Y'all didn't hear me. I'm giving you education. That's where that word education comes from. Because remember, you don't learn nothing in education. 
You go to school for 12 grades. And I'm going to explain that in a minute. 12 years. 12 years. With the following 13 counting kindergarten. That's why there was 12 disciples plus one. That was Jesus. That's why there's 12 jurors plus one, a judge. I'm going to show you something in a minute if y'all stay in there with me. So y'all don't have to question me because the stuff I'm telling you is happening in a record time. I tell you one thing. The brothers, brother Rip put it up. He'll tell you. Some of the other brothers, brother CD, some of y'all other ones are putting this stuff up. And this stuff is happening the next day. How long y'all going to keep playing games like what we're talking about ain't real? It's real. And you got to be a fool. That's right. You got to be a plump fool to sit around and act like you don't see what you already starting to see. That's why there are 117 people in here listening because they know I got something to say. And that's why there are thousands of people that listen, but they don't listen live like pastors and preachers because they don't want nobody to know that they in the room when I'm talking. I'm coming, Mimi Archer. You ain't heard none yet. All the Jews do, and I'm going to explain this in a minute. The Masonic Jews, for lack of better words, they use sports, movies, entertainment, education, politics, weather. They use every major genre of interest. They control it through rituals and numbers. Okay? Rituals and numbers. This ain't a game. All right? Now, so when I'm talking about sports, you don't know it, but sports ties into what happened in Vegas. Now, stay with me. This week, I'm getting ready to tell you why all this bad stuff and ha all, this, all of these bad events happened this week. First of all, I want everybody to write this down and check behind me. The Jewish calendar, okay? The Jewish calendar has the biggest event of celebration. It's called Yom Kippur. Okay? Yom Kippur. I think it's Y-O-M-K-I-P-P-U-R. My other phone is down. It's not acting right. I can't check it for you. I need somebody to check it while I'm talking. It's called Yom Kippur. And what Yom Kippur means, thank you, Yolanda Bass. Yom Kippur. Thank you, Minister Roderick Baskin. Yom, that's the right spelling right there. Roderick Bask, Minister Baskin just posted the correct spelling. You can Google that, okay? Yom Kippur is the biggest day, pretty much, arguably, on the Jewish calendar. And it's not just one day. It's from September the 29th to October, I think it's the 1st or 2nd. I need y'all to get this. It's called Yom Kippur. For those of y'all that just came in, share and like my video. Go back and watch it. I already exposed Facebook. I already exposed Mark Zuckerberg for what it's really about. I just finished telling you about sports. I gave you the numbers to look for the last two weeks. Every time I give you the numbers, the next day the game plays out. I told you watch for the number 50. And the guy ran the touchdown in for number 50. Number 50. Cam Newton scored his 50 of touchdown. This week. Oh, are y'all listening? Ain't nothing new. Just follow my word. It's all fixed. Now, what I'm trying to show you is that the Jews, the Masonic Jews, Masons, they connect all genres from news to politics to sports to movies to music. And I've been proving that over the last few weeks. Doris Graham says in September the 30th. No, 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 no. Go back and look at it. Okay. I want you to get this. I want you to get this. This weekend, this weekend of Yom Kippur means judgment day. Okay? Yom Kippur means judgment day. Now, let me tell you why that's so interesting. Yom Kippur means judgment day. And the Jews who call themselves gods. Now, I can't explain this. I need y'all to wing this for a minute. Okay, I need y'all to wing this for a minute. These Masonic Jews feel as though they are God over you, the people. We, the, us, the people, okay? And their job is to orchestrate events and treat... Thank you, Sister Maria, uh, Sister Maria V. Hendricks. Now, watch this. Here's why all these events happen 
during Yom Kippur. It means judgment day. And notice the big event that happened in Yom Kippur was Vegas shooting in Sin City. Get it? Yom Kippur, judgment day, happens at Sin City. Stay with me. I'm going to show you in a minute how I've been telling you since almost two years ago. I got all my brothers from the barbershop in here, and they can tell you I've been telling everybody for a year, look for the number five. They, they'll, they'll post it. Rashad, Jenkins, some of the other ones. Now, let me tell you what's going on. Let me tell you what's going on. If you follow my work, I explain to you that 50 or 5 or all the numbers that come out to be 5, watch this, all the numbers, that's Rashad Jenkins. I've been telling them, watch the 5. That's why all the stuff happened in the land of the 5-pointed star. When, when the Mayweather fight came, I went in there and told them it was going to go over five rounds. I told them why I had to go over five rounds. JT, Jay Thompson is telling y'all right there. I'm in the barbershop telling them every week. Five, the number five, okay? Now, when the Mayweather fight happened, don't forget I told y'all, watch the Mayweather. His name is not Floyd Mayweather. Some of y'all got mad talking about he crazy. His daddy named Mayweather. Ladies and gentlemen, his name is Floyd Sinclair. I exposed that because y'all think y'all know, but really we don't. I said we because I'm just as ignorant and have been just as ignorant as everybody else. Listen good. They gave him that name because May is the fifth month. May is the fifth month. May weather. May weather. May weather. So why May weather? Watch this. I'm coming, Joe Brooks. Good to see you, man. I'm about to come there, Joe Brooks. I'm taking it to Vegas. Stay with me. I got to walk. Y'all got to walk with me. You got to walk with me. I feel pretty good tonight. May weather. May weather. May is the fifth month. I explained to y'all on Warfare Wednesday three, four weeks ago, whenever the Mayweather fight was, that the fight was fixed. I also explained to you that five days later, the storm would hit and strike who? Houston. Now, I often tell y'all, watch TV and watch the news headlines. This is how we decode what they're going to do. They put it in the headlines. Okay, Sister BJ Taylor, I'm going to bring it. I promise you. If y'all share and like it, we're at 125 live right now. Ain't nothing else better on TV. Don't nothing come on before me and don't nothing come on after me if they ain't preaching the truth. I need y'all to get this. I told y'all during the Mayweather fight that it was fixed. Not only did I tell y'all that it was fixed, I told y'all in the Mayweather fight that the storm was manufactured. That the government manipulated the hurricane. I even proved to you how it was done. And the hurricane was named Harvey. Harvey. Which is strange because the headlines after the fight. The headlines after the fight. The headlines after the fight said. Steve Harvey got the best seat in the, in the fight. Okay. Had the best seat. The most expensive seat in the boxing match. And they said LeBron James and Jay-Z felt some kind of way that Steve Harvey was able to get the most expensive. Thank you, Clinton Baker. Watch this. Get the most expensive seat in the fight. Now, I want you to see this. Sister Tammy just put out something good. Y'all read what she just said. I didn't know that. Watch this. Watch this. So... They, this, look at how they play games with you. Steve Harvey. Thank you, Sister Vanessa Fitzgerald. Steve Harvey. Singing Vanessa Fitzgerald. Singing Vanessa Fitzgerald. Anyway, Steve Harvey gets the best seat at the Mayweather fight. Five days later, the storm comes to Houston, which is Hughes Town. Hughes Town. Hughes Town. Hugh means black. Houston is the land of black folks. Remember, they put the storm 
broke the levees in New Orleans, and most of those people moved to Houston, and now they're sending the storms, manipulating the weather over to Houston, for lack of better words. Now watch this. Let's break it down so I can get to Vegas. I have to do all of this just to get to the point. Now, the Mayweather fight had Steve Harvey sitting in the best seat while Hurricane Harvey was showing up five days later. Watch this. The big story was Joel Osteen did not open his church. Okay? Steve, not you, Sister Charlita Harvey. Not you. No, -uh, not you. No, woman of God. Not you. Watch this. Watch, watch this. The story was Joel Osteen opens his church, but he wouldn't open it. Remember, they were getting mad with him. But if you go back and look up the stories while I'm talking, you can just check behind me. It says after five days, after five days, Joel Osteen opens his church. And guess what the name of his church is? Lakewood. <laughs> Lakewood. 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 Y'all not listening to me. It's all riddles. Five. Now stay with me. So let's back it up. Uh, uh, what Juvenile said. Uh, 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 this is some good truth. Won't you back that thing up? I'm going to back it up real quick. For, well, no, I'm not going to back it up. Uh, Deacon Shea, be quiet. Watch this. Watch this. I want you to hear this. So, five. Watch this. Watch this. Five weather. May weather fight. Harvey, Hurricane Harvey hits the land of the five-pointed star, which is Hughes Town, Black People's Town. Watch this. It watch this. It hit. I want you to get this. Lakewood. Think about water. But watch this. It hits. Here you go. It hits Hughes Town, the land of the five pointed star. Look, look at Jerry Ross. Give me five Beyonce's. Watch this. I'm gonna show y'all something. I'm gonna show you these numbers, and I'm gonna get to Vegas. Hughes Town. Hughes Town. Land of the five pointed star where watch this. And the news headline started off saying Houston Harvey leaves Houston under 50 inches of water. Under how many inches of water? Under 50 inches of water. Why Mayweather is now going to be 50 and old. Mayweather is 50 and old. Houston is left under 50 inches of weather, 50 inches of water. At the watch this while the May weather fight is going on, while the May weather fight is going on, you know May weather, the man that makes it rain, the man that makes it rain, May weather. Y'all not listening to me today. May weather. Stay with me, cause I'm telling you these fifties don't stop. These fives, these threes, and the twos. Now. I could go on and on about the stuff I've already told y'all. I just broke down everything you need to know. I, I mean, can somebody just give me a brief? Can I just take a minute? And can somebody come up here and tell me, are you learning anything? Is this making any sense? I just broke down to you every football game. I just broke down to you Hurricane Harvey. Hurricane what? Harvey. I'm getting ready to get to Vegas. But I need somebody to stop right now. Because I feel I'm getting ready to heat up. I'm getting ready to heat up. Tell Fiji cut the check. Now watch this. In the land of the five-pointed star, where five policemen were gunned down earlier. Y'all remember the police that were shot? Five policemen gunned down. Watch this. Watch this, y'all. Oh, my goodness. Y'all not getting ready to see what I'm getting ready to show you. Well, what does this have to do with Vegas? Because as I've been on Warfare Wednesday... The solar eclipse came. That's why 50 Cent is called 50 Cent, Deacon Jamal. 50 Cent is a Masonic name that was given to him. I'm telling you that right now. It is connected. Just like Snoop Dogg's name was given to him, that's a Masonic name. Okay, that's why he's called D-O-double-G. The G is Masonic. That's why he wears blue. That's why Snoop talk about his khaki blues. Crips was created by the Masons. 
Y'all didn't know that? All, frater all fraternities and all gangs. Mark Zuckerberg is 33. And yes, he was born just like that. Good work, Deacon Shea. I love to see when y'all do your own work. Yes, I haven't even gotten to that. But your own point, Brother Deacon Shea Brown. Now watch this. Y'all have made me lose my train of thought. And I'm just heating up. I'm going to give you, I'm going to give everybody something to talk about in Facebook. Trust me. I'm going to show you why they've been holding me back, trying to stop us for years. Oh, don't go over to the word church. Stay away from him. He's crazy. The devil is a liar. Now they can't stop us. We got 130 people live in here. Ain't no better place to be. And it's getting ready to get popping. That's why Nate Dog is dog because dog is a symbol of the Masons. It's called the dog star. That's why you got a dog tag. Remember one time it was a fad to wear dog tags, which is a military principle because all people in the military are considered by the military to be savage, no good, nothing, uh, savage good, so to speak. They're called dogs, okay? Now, I need y'all to get this. My cousin Tiffany Dyer in the house. Watch this. Hello, Tiff. Love you. Now, watch this. Watch this. Watch this. All of these things, all fraternities start from the Knights Templar and Masonic orders. That's why, come on, Ashley Watts. Come on, Sister Ashley Watts. That's why 50 Cent said, choo, choo, choo. You want me to finish it? Chi chi chi. Chi unit. What unit? Come on, man. Y'all stop playing. I ain't got time. I taught that already. Go back and get my last videos, my last three videos, when I told you about the music industry. When I told you why it's always blue. When I told you why Jay-Z had the blueprint. And when something happened that you ain't looking for, you say it happened out the blue. It happened out the blue. And why his daughter is named Blue Ivy. I've been told y'all that. That's old. We passed that. Go get my old stuff. Okay, go get my old stuff. Stay with me. I'm heating up. If I seem like I'm getting excited, I am. I love truth. This is my, this is how I slam dunk. This is how I, I get high. I get high off of truth. Now stay with me. That's why, come on, Deacon Shay. That's why Snoop said ain't nothing but a G thing. Baby. Huh? Come on, man. Now, I got to keep going. So I warned you about the number fives and fifties. When, when, this, when the solar eclipse came, I went in the barber shop. I told the brothers, record me now. Rashad Jenkins is my barber. He don't go to my church. Stop thinking that I pay him to agree with me or anybody else. JT ain't never been to my church. Thompson. J Thompson. I call him JT. Ain't never been to my church. Last time I seen JT. Was in, uh, Lord have mercy, was the other couple Sundays ago, I ran into him at uh, Outback, and he was, uh, well, he was bent. <laughs> Applaud him today. He, 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 was, uh, he was drunk out of his mind, but I enjoyed talking to him nonetheless. I, these are not people that go to my church. You can ask them. You can ask them, okay? Now, let's go. I told him in the barbershop after the solar eclipse, I said, for a long time, I said, stay away from big events, real big events. Yes, brother, Ar 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 Deltuan Rack, he, he, he was nice. He was nice. But, but, but let me say this. Let me say this. One thing about me, the listener will not be denied. I got to give it to you. J uh, 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 JT, you already know. Much love. Now, watch this. Chandra Green, sister says, you told us in church on 820 to be careful in large crowds. Now the Las Vegas tragedy. Yes, I told y'all that they were getting ready to stage something based around the solar eclipse. Now stay, stay with me. Stay with me because somebody said that's a coincidence. That's a coincidence. Y'all kill me, y'all coincidence theorists. Let, let me just say this. Watch this. So when this thing happened, I tell y'all to watch sports, watch the news. Watch all of it. Aunt Veronica Harris just said it. Yes, I did. Right in the church. Chaz Palmer says, yes, you did. Now watch this. Can I fast forward? Because I could teach, but I want to fast forward to this week. Here we go, y'all. Thank y'all for being patient. Now that I did all of that, let's get to Vegas. Let's get to Vegas. Okay? I said, thank you, Rashad Jenkins. I ain't picking with you tonight because you're bringing it. 
My exact words in the barbershop, according to Rashard Jenkins, is I said a series of catastrophic events are getting ready to take place. Come on, Chauncey Burns. There is no coincidence. Everything happens by divine counsel or will. I can get with that. I dig it. I can dig it. Now watch this. Stay with me. Let's get to Vegas because I don't have a lot of time and I want to take your question. So all the events, all the events, all the events. Hello, Whitney, Sister Whitney, nurse and choreographer. Watch this. All the events are riddles that the Masons put over the people. And I'm showing you the riddles. And I'm telling you before the games come on, what's going to happen pretty much. What you look for. Not only me, I'm not the only one. You got Damian Lewis that have been putting these numbers out there. You got other brothers that have been seeing these numbers. There's all, Listen to me. I'm trying to tell y'all what's going on. Shannon Tab, I'm so glad. Make sure you got me as your friend. Don't go nowhere. Because I bring it like this. And I've been bringing it like this for almost 10 years. Yeah, I, I promise you. I'm not new. They just tried to keep me out of it. Huh? Yeah, yeah. They started their party and didn't invite me. So I threw my own. I threw my own. Now, watch this. Hidden in plain sight. That's right, Tamika Moore. Tanika Moore. Sister Tanika Moore. God bless you. Now, watch this. Vegas. All right? Yes, Brother Chaz. Yes. Now, watch this. Vegas. 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 Here we go. So, watch all the events. So, this week. This week, I told y'all about the number 50 on Monday. Right? I said it last week, 47 and 50. This week, the Vegas shooting happened. Now, let's do a recap of the Vegas headlines because the news headlines are the riddles. And you got to know what the numbers mean in the riddles and the words so that you can understand that if it's a real event or if it's a false flag. Let me show you what took place in Vegas did happen. People were hurt in Vegas. People were injured. It is not a hoax. It's a false flag. Stop saying stuff if you don't know what you're talking about. A hoax is dealing with the fact that it didn't happen at all. Okay? A false flag is something that did happen, but it was contrived. It was pre-planned. It was programmed. It was, uh, it, it was a conspiracy. Now, stay with me. That's right, Nathan Paul. Listen up. I'm going to give you plenty to put in your ear. Stay tuned. Now, watch this. And can't nobody deny nothing I'm saying. Here we go. So this week, we're watching the news. We already have seen all of our stuff come true with the numbers this week. That's right. Orchestrated. That's the word. Watch this. And now we have Vegas. So the reports came out saying this. And watch how they changed the numbers. And the numbers that they change it to, the numbers that they change it to also are Masonic numbers. Now watch this. Vegas time. They say that the shooter... They say, that's right, Rashad Jenkins. They say that the shooter, that the shooter, hold on, Marquita Kiki Card says Vegas 47 firearms found as of this morning. <sighs> when y'all gonna listen to me? I didn't even see that. I didn't see that. I called 47 and 50. I didn't see that. Let me show you what the first report said. The first report, that's why I love y'all. Because once I show you how to do this, little by little, y'all are going to be calling me, telling me what's going on. Now watch this. Y'all made me lose my whole train of thought. Here we go. They say that the shooter, okay, named Jason... Al Dean, I'll get back to that another time. Because all that is planned. Okay? Watch this. You crazy, Brother Rodney. <laughs> brother Rodney, crazy. No, I, I got to work with this ice. I like to work with the ice. Now watch this. They said that the shooter, Jason Al Dean, I think he's 64 years old. I'll get back to that too. They said he was shooting from the 32nd floor. Which is a lie, but from the 32nd floor, from the 32nd floor, that's right, Suge Robinson, sister, watch this, watch this, 
No, Jason Aldean wasn't a shooter. He was the one that was performing. Let me correct that. Thank you, sister. That, that didn't come out right. Thank you, sister Kashera. Thank you. Thank you. Now, thank you, Karen Gates. Watch this. Watch this. The shooter was on the 32nd floor. Okay? Three and two equals five. There goes hope, luck, right on it. Three and two equals five. The first report says 50, watch this, dead, 400 injured. 50 dead, how many dead? 50 dead? After there was 50 inches that left Houston underwater? After Mayweather went 50 and 0? After I told you and number 50 scored the winning touchdown Monday night after I came on here Monday in the evening and told you look for the number 50, right? Oh, my God. After Cam Newton scored his 50th touchdown, hold on for a minute. I ain't done yet. I'm just getting started. 32nd floor. While this is going on, thank you, uh, uh, research lady. I'm getting there too, Stephen Paddock. Watch this. Watch this. While this is going on, you got to watch all the news. Who did they let out of jail? Who did they let out of jail? Who did the, who got out of jail this week? Quickly. Come on, y'all. I'm just getting ready to roll now. Exactly, CD. Brother CD, a conveniently round number. Stop it, Jason Davis. You telling a lie. Breaking news, 50 pounds of explosives found, of course. OJ gets out. Now, let me tell you about OJ. Because I might be wrong about this, but I think OJ was released either from Vegas or to Vegas. But watch this. OJ was number what, y'all? 32. The shooter was on the 32nd floor. OJ, which was released the same week. I'm showing you how they do the riddles together. OJ was number 32. And OJ got out of jail from a 33-year sentence. How many years sentence? Sister Whitney says he was in Vegas. It's not a coincidence, y'all. Watch this. What is the name of the festival? I'm getting ready to show the same day. The same day that the shooter on the 32nd floor is out is the same day number 32 OJ is released from a 33-year prison sentence in which he only served nine years. I'm going to show you nine in a minute, and you already know 33 is the number of Masons. His jersey number is 32. Stay with me, Deltuan Rax. I'm going to wake you up. I'm going to wake you up. Now watch this. OJ Simpson is... Is also connected to the Masonic order and all of his trial, which was the biggest money making far as ratings trial in the history of trials, was also moved by and created by the Masons. OK. Damian Lewis says he knew OJ was a part of the riddle when Jay-Z dropped his single. I'm not black. I'm OJ. Oh, y'all stay with me. Jay-Z is a mason. The rock, the compass, the Masonic G. Stay with me for a minute, okay? Stay with me. A 33-year sentence. I've been told y'all about the number 33, and I'm going to explain these numbers in a minute. Now, it's getting ready to get good. I said all this stuff, and I haven't even gotten cranking. I have not even gotten cranking yet. Watch this. In the same week span, in the same week span, okay, OJ gets out of a 33-year sentence, serves nine years in Vegas, where 50 people were shot up and the man was on the 32nd floor. OJ is number 32. Before OJ caught his, watch this, yes, Toya AB, he is a 33rd degree mason. Hold on, research lady. I'm coming. Hold on. My God, I feel my help coming on. Here we go. Here we go. 
OJ, before he got in trouble for killing Nicole Simpson, allegedly, uh, uh, before he got in trouble for murder, OJ played in a movie. Remember, I told y'all two weeks ago, go back and get my old video and share it again. The Masons control all the titles to music and movies. OJ's last movie he was in was called Naked Gun, 33, 33rd and a third. Oh my gosh, y'all didn't just hear what I just said. The last movie OJ played in before he supposedly went to jail was Naked Gun, 33 and a third, and a third is 33%. A third is 33%. Oh, that's just a coincidence, right? For those that just coming in, you got to go back and watch this. This is my best work yet. And they got them. Watch this. You said they're going to cut me off in 32 minutes. They better not. Now watch this. Watch this. Hey, Sister Fields, go back and watch this. This is my probably the best comprehensive study of numbers I've ever done. I exposed Facebook and everything, so stay with me. Now watch this. Sister Shara Gray, you missed it. You got to go back and watch this video. You got to. Best work yet. Best work yet. Watch this. So now, so now, now you've got OJ who served a 33 yard, a 33 year sentence, but only served nine years of that sentence. Now let's get back to Vegas. Let's get back to Vegas. So now in Vegas, you got the killer on the 32nd floor. Okay, I'm not even going to get into the stuff y'all already know about. He couldn't have carried all them guns. There was multiple shooters, and those multiple shooters are the military police that's killing everybody anyway. Y'all can think it's a joke. That's what's going on. Okay? Now, all this happened... On October the 1st, everybody that's coming in, you got to go back and watch this video. I cannot go back. All this killing, October the 1st, everybody, let's move to the next point. October the 1st, look at program 1033. I'm going to show y'all 33 in a minute. I'm only getting started. October the 1st is when Vegas happened. That leaves 91 days in the year. Now let's find the 91s in the news all week long so you can see that all news connects. Somebody died in the last week or so from October the 1st. Can y'all tell me what famous man died? I mean, all my true players. That should be y'all clue. All my live players. Tanika Moore says Hugh Hefner. So... October the 1st leaves 91 days left in the year. Hugh Hefner died at age 91 during the same week. The name of the festival that Jason Aldean was singing at was called the Route 91 Country Music Festival. It was the Route 91 Festival where all that shooting took place. It was the Route 91 festival on October the 1st, which left 91 days while Hugh Hefner was dead at 91. Once again, all the news connects. Yeah, Mario Jefferson. I'm just showing you they do riddles. They're killing these people by the numbers. Okay? I'm going to show you 911 again. Stay with me. Because all of this connects to September the 11th. It ain't no coincidence in the world. Oh, yeah. I told him earlier, Dana Love, Houston is Hughes Town. Black people. Hugh means shaded. Dark ones. Okay? Malika White, I'm trying to tell y'all why they want me to shut up. Why they want me to stay out of their churches. Why they won't put me on television. Why nobody will support me. Because I'm giving you what none of y'all really want. The truth. Y'all want some of the truth, but y'all ain't ready for all of the truth. Come on, man. Now, I'm going to show you how this stuff going. Watch this. All right. 
So you got Jason Aldean at the Route 91 Festival. You ready for this? The Route 91 Festival. Oh, my God. How did I forget this? See, it's on my head. My, I can't go on the phone or nothing. I don't have any. I want you to get this. How did I forget this? Always watch the movies. The two movies I told y'all to watch is It and Jeepers Creepers. Now, I'm not new to this. I'm true to this. I told y'all when the election was going on, go watch Purge. I went to the movies. I went to see Purge. When I went to see Purge, I showed you how everything that happened in Purge happened in real life. How they wore opposite colors, Democrat, Republican, how it was a man and a woman, how it was about homosexuality, the whole nine. Now, here's what I want you to get. The movies that are centered around the number five, okay? It, it, and Jeepers Creepers. Now, let me give you the facts. And go to movie, uh, go to movie, uh, palette.com or anywhere you want to go and check these facts about the movies. Because, um, I told you I'm like the book. You ain't got to look. Stay with me. Stay with me. Watch this, y'all. I'm looking at that right now, Deacon Shea. Because whenever there's a name change, the name has to fit their script of numbers. And I'll explain that later. But stay with me. You may be on to something, sir. Yeah. Watch this. Watch this. So while all this is going on in one week, you got number 32, OJ. Uh, they played in 33, naked gun 33 and a half. While they're trying to take the gun laws right now is what they're aiming for. Okay. I'm going to show y'all something in a minute. I'm going to show y'all something in a minute. Watch this. You got the Route 91 Festival. You got the Route 91 Festival. You got the Route 91 Festival that happens on October the 1st that leaves 91 days while Hugh Hefner is dead in 91 all in the same week. Stay with me. Then you got the movies It and Jeepers Creepers. Now hold on for a minute, y'all. I'm getting ready to show you something. Always watch the movies. It is about a clown. It is about a clown that goes around harvesting children. Jeepers Creepers is about some kind of gargoyle, reptilian gargoyle monster that, har that goes around harvesting, that goes around harvesting, that goes around harvesting humans. So now you got two movies coming out in a span of a month about harvesting movies. Thank you, Sister Kashira Lane. Like, share, and like. And invite. Now watch this. If anybody's seen it, you can go to the palette. It tells you they're about harvesting humans. Now, let me show you something. Because 91, I ain't done yet. The number it is really a symbol. I didn't even know you were there, Sister Pope. Welcome. The, num the, the name It, and one day I'll do a teaching on It, not even the movie, the word It. It is really IT, which is really the number 11. It equals 11. I'm going to show you this. Because the event that happened the other day in Vegas happened on 10 slash 1. October the 1st, which is what? 11. Stay with me. It which is about harvesting. Why Steve Harvey said at the Mayweather fight, why Hurricane Harvey harvested out those black people out of Houston. While we're getting ready for Harvest Fest, and if I'm not mistaken, October the 5th is the Harvest Moon. Somebody fact check that. Okay? October 5th is the harvest moon. Somebody double check that. So all of the harvest and harvesting is attached to it. But I ain't finished. I'm going to show you something. Jeepers Creepers. Watch this. Oh, stop it, Deltuan. Dwayne Wade just signed with the cast for 
That's not a real number. They're giving y'all these numbers as riddles. Thank you, Deltron. Good work, sir. You're going to see it over and over. That's why they told you on ESPN the other day that Tom Brady drinks 2.5 gallons of water because Tom Brady won his 25th playoff game, the AFC's 25th Super Bowl, and that Super Bowl was on February the 5th, which was 2-5. But I ain't got time to go back to that. Stay with me for a minute. I'm just getting heated up. Watch this. Watch this, y'all. Of course, 2.3 million LeBron is number 23. Like Michael Jordan is number 23. They retired on January the 13th. January the 13th, 1999. After his 13th season. But I'll get back to that too. All right? Ain't no script. Couldn't nobody teach me this. It's in my heart. Stay with me. The more y'all, y'all just heat me up. When I see 130 people on here... Okay, Shannon Gordon, Sister Shannon Gordon says, the harvest moon is the full moon closest to the September equinox. I just told you it's all about harvest. That's why y'all church is getting ready to have harvest fest and don't even know you're celebrating the devil. Somebody says, I'm the dude from the barbershop. Yes. And I need to go back. Oh, Lord. I better keep that on. Stay with me. Here we go. Watch this. I need you to stay with me. Michael Jordan is worth $1.3 billion. Of course. After he retired after 13 seasons. On January the 13th, 1999. I'll come back to that. It don't matter. I'm going to show you. Friday the 13th. That's why 13 is supposed to be some unlucky number. I'm going to tell you what 13 means in a minute. So when you go to McDonald's, you'll understand you're not going to McDonald's. The sign on McDonald's is 13. The M on the arch is a 3. Almost all big logos start with M's. And I'm going to show you that later. Okay? M is the number 3. M and M is 33. I'm going to show you all the M&M &M logos that you didn't pay attention. Just like Marshall Mathers, M&M, &M, 33. Yes, I'm in Richmond, Virginia. Yes. I'm in Richmond, Virginia, and I give it up like this all the time. Even about the Bible. I expose all the lies they told you about the Bible, too. Now, stay with me. Stay with me. I'm going to give you all some numbers if you all got time tonight. Now. It, the movie It, check behind me, the movie It came out on, watch this, 23 days, the movie It came out 23 days, the movie It, oh my goodness, Friday the 13th is coming next week, I didn't know that, add that to the list, watch this, somebody put the address to my church. And give them the time we start at 12 o'clock. Thank you, Minister Arthur Coles. Hello, sir. Didn't know you were there. Now watch this. Watch this. It, I repeat, it came out 23 days before the shooting in Vegas. How many days? 23. What's two plus three? Five. Five. But I ain't finished. Jeepers Creepers came out on September the 26th. Jeepers Creepers came out on September the 26th. Hold on for a minute. September the 26th. Let me count on my feet. Make sure I don't get it wrong. I never had to do this, by the way. Five. From September the 26th to the day of the shooting, to the day of the shooting was five days. Jeepers Creepers. Now, if y'all knew y'all history... I think they own Jeepa Creepers 3 or 2 or 3. And they own like uh, uh, It Part 3. The original It came out 11 years exactly. 11 years before 9-11. And the original Jeepers Creepers came out 11 days before the original 9-11. Okay? Stay with me. 10 one, October 1st equals 11. Now, if y'all got time, let's switch seats for a minute and let's change up the game. 
I want to tell you, Hugh Hefner's birth year is 1926. Huh. There you go. Watch this. Watch this, y'all. Watch this. Man, that feed ain't no joke. All right, listen. I need y'all to switch up. I want to tell you something about 911. Okay? And I'm going to pace myself. I'm not going to kill myself because a lot of y'all going to come on here. You're going to soak up all this information and go right back to learning nothing. And I got to say that. So I'm not going to kill myself because I got to go down north and teach tomorrow night. And I need some voice when I go. But I am going to give you a little bit more and we'll come back and do some more next week. 911 is a very important Masonic number. Okay? 911 is a very important number. Now, a lot of y'all ain't old enough, pardon my English, but a lot of y'all ain't old enough to know this. Okay? Because a headline just came out today that says the shooting took place. Look, look how stupid they play us. Look how dumb they play us. They put a headline out and the riddles don't even make sense. The shooting took place 9 to 11 minutes. Why would you say that? Because it means something. Now watch this. All right, y'all. Enough of the birthdays. Happy birthday. You're getting ready to miss the important part. We'll celebrate later. Invite me to the party. I'll come. But stay focused. Watch this. The headline today said 9 to 11 minutes. Okay? 9 to 11 minutes. How stupid of a headline is that? See, I told you they put the stuff out there. Now you got to know. So now. A lot of y'all not old enough to know this, but if anybody here is over 60, you might remember this. Maybe 65, 70 actually. 911 has not always been, thank you, Sister Sneed. 911 has not always been, watch this, the emergency number that you pick up when you call the police. Okay? 911 has not always been that number. 911 was made the national emergency number in the 60s. Can somebody give me the exact date? Y'all do the research. Check behind me right now. In the 60s, the issue number was 911. Okay? Now, let me tell you why that's important. Because it's all staged, it's all scripted by the numbers, it's all fake. I'm getting ready to show you this. That's right, Aaron Cruz. In the 60s, 911, maintain you own it, which is 9 plus 1 plus 1 equals 11, and that's why you got 911. But stay with me. Uh, stay with me. Now, what? Marquita Kiki Carden, Sister Marquita says, February the 16th, 1968, to be exact. I told y'all. Now watch this. From the time, from the time that 911 became an emergency number to 9-11 when the towers fell was exactly 33 years. Now watch this. 33 years after 9-11, 33 years after 9-11 was issued in the 60s as an emergency number, 33 years, 9-11 is when the towers fell down. That's not a coincidence. Stay with me. Now, can I give y'all some 911 facts? Can I give y'all some 911? Can the drummer get something real quick? I gotta show y'all this. Let me give you some 911 facts. 911 is not by coincidence. Okay? 911 was not a coincidence. It's not a coincidence. Remember, they said the terrorists did 9 11? For everybody that just came in, 
Y'all just missed the most powerful hour you ever heard. If you don't go back and watch this video, oh my gosh, I promise you some of this you did not know. I promise you that. Anyhow, 911. Now I'm going to decode 911 and show you. So what we just learned is, and y'all did the research. Y'all not listening to me. Y'all checking it. There was no such thing as 911. There was no such thing as 911. Oh, that's good, Sister Ashley. Watch this. There was no such thing as 911. Here we go. Until uh, until the 60s, and then 33 years later, 9-11 happened. Now, stay with me. They told you Islamic terrorists were responsible. That's a lie. Islamic terrorists don't exist. ISIS don't exist. I am telling you right now, ISIS do not exist. I'll cover that another time. Okay? ISIS is really... Bill Clinton, George Bush, and Barack Obama. And don't be looking at me stupid because I already told y'all already that Barack Obama's real name is Barry Sotoro. But back to business. The area code of Iraq and uh, Iran is 119. 911. 119. 9-11 is the 254th day of the year. And it leaves, watch this, 111 days left over. Oh my God. Okay, y'all ain't hearing me today. I already broke Vegas down. If y'all just coming in here, y'all missed it. I already broke Vegas down. I already broke Facebook down. And I'm getting ready to show you. That's right. Bush is kin to Barack Obama. Okay? I need y'all to hear this. 911 is a secret Masonic code. That's why they gave it to you in the 60s. And 33 years later, they took the towers down on 9-11. 119 is the area code of Iraq and Iran. 9-11 is the 254th day. And it leaves 111 days exactly left in the year. Uh, the Twin Towers were called the number 11. The first plane that they say, the first plane they say hit the building was Flight 11. This is for all y'all coincidence theorists. Hold on for a minute. Flight 11 had 92 people on board, they say. What's 9 plus 2? 11. <sighs> Flight 77, which hit later, had 65 people on board. What's 6 plus 5? 11. New York, where it happened, is the 11th state to join the union. I could go on and on about the 11th, but I'm going to stop right there. Hold on for a minute. I got to get some water out of this thing. And I'm getting hot here. I, hold on, man. I, this is ridiculous. Jesus. All right, listen good. All of the numbers mean something. All of the numbers mean something. That's right. Here we go. Now. Y'all want some more numbers? You want some more facts? Or y'all still think this is conspiracy theory? That's why the Masonic Temple is 13 blocks north. Oh my goodness. You know what? I'm going to stop. It's all Masonic. She said use Fiji as an ice pack. I'm going to take a break. Can y'all believe Facebook let me talk this long tonight? 
No, I'm not going to stop yelling. I'm hype. If you don't want me to yell, bye. Bye, Sister Israel. I'm not going to stop yelling. This is my broadcast. You don't, y'all don't say nothing when the preachers yell at y'all. Y'all don't say nothing when the ministers yell at y'all and they ain't saying nothing. All out of breath, huffing, talking about the Lord said. And y'all ain't going to tell me to be quiet on my broadcast. If you don't like it, bye, Felicia. I got 130 other people that like it. Simon, hey man, please watch it. Should we keep going? Should we keep going? Oh, come up in here and tell me. Thank you, Sister Fields. I need that. Thank you. I need that. Honey, hot tea, honey, ice water. You're right. I stand corrected, but I'm thirsty as I don't know what. Miss Kiara Palmer says she needed this. Don't stress yourself. I ain't stressing Israel, Sister Israel, but just don't tell me don't yell. I've I been, I been through a whole lot. I don't want a woman telling me what to do tonight. I'm just playing. I love you. God bless you. Yeah, I'm just taking a minute. I've been going hard for like, how long I've been on y'all? How long have we been on here live? And the numbers are, look, the people are dropping off. Where y'all going? Ain't no way y'all dropping off. The Masons control everything. And if you go look at my old videos, Danny Fife, I show you how they control music. I expose to you every, the rap songs, the rock and roll songs, the rhythm and blues, the blues. I expose to you the movies, the whole nine. I've been on for an hour and a half. And ain't nobody went to my, uh, cause I never asked for anything, but my engineer gets on me. The church gets on me because I get all this information out and nobody goes to my website and makes a donation. Everybody, when I take that back, JD Cooper did, she went in there and dropped $300 in one shot. The only person that made a donation. After all these people are getting information, y'all pay tithes and everything and don't get none of this kind of information ever. But nobody won't go to PastorRob.us and just make a donation. Anyhow, just, just to, so we can get this to television. I, can y'all imagine me coming on Fox 35 instead of watching, you know, your favorite preacher, watching somebody that's really preaching the truth? I just took a minute, y'all. I just took a minute. I'm just taking a breather. If everybody donated five dollars, this would be a wrap. We ought to have our own building, all everything. There ought to be a place for truth right here in the city of Richmond and in Tidewater. Malika White says she's been in here the whole time. No, I wouldn't be on long, but can we at least try? <laughs> All the movies are coming to reality. You're exactly right, Sister Palmer. Even Fox has a meaning. You got to know what you're looking at. When you play tic-tac-toe, see, the more y'all talk, the more stuff comes back to my mind. Letters equal numbers. This is how they decode. Remember when you played tic-tac-toe? All you were playing is 666. You got to know what the X's and O's mean. Thank you, Sister Pope. You're right on time. We're having a heck of a women's conference coming up. It's not this week. It's not this week. We're having a women's conference that's out of this world every year. It's top of the line. It is top notch. If you have not, Pastor Chris Moore, come on in. Hello, Pastor Chris. Pastor Chris Moore, shout out to New Kingdom Christian Ministries on Deal Road. That's my brother. One of the only few preachers. Pastor Marvin Green, shout out to him as well. He's not in here. I give him shots out every week. Oh, he think he the only one. No, I don't. Every single time I get on here, I give a shout out to Pastor Chris. I give a shout out to Pastor Marvin. I give a shout out to a lot of y'all that come up with different information. I ain't never said I'm the only one. But I tell you what, it ain't a lot of us.
That's the truth. Yep, Dana Love, the numbers mean something. Anyway, enough of that, because I don't even do the offering thing. And, and, and I, I ain't never bag nobody for no money. I ain't, I, I, and I ain't going to start. I've been pastoring 10 years. I ain't never took up two offers in one service. And we don't pay tithes in my church. So money ain't never been my aim. So y'all can miss me with that. Watch this, y'all. I'm trying to think, do I want to start another number or just call it a night? And we'll come back and finish our numbers next week. The women's conference. Can somebody put the date of the women's conference? I don't even know it right off the top of my head. Shame on me. Sister Dana Love, I'm here. I'm here. Sister Siani Hubbard says October 12th through the 14th. Thank you. I didn't want to give out the wrong dates. It's always around that time. That's my mother's birthday around her time and uh, quite a few other people have birthdays around that time. So, But I couldn't remember how it's going to fall this year. October 12th through the 14th. Our address of our church is 4108 West Clay Street. And we start at 12 noon. And our service on Sundays is fully interactive. Last Sunday, we're dealing with demons. After we deal with the demons, we tell you about how the demons are in you. And then we cast them out of people. It really happens. <laughs> Kevin Howe, what's up, brother? I get this information from everywhere. Trial and error, information, research, you name it. Sometimes I get it from y'all. The conference has a cost, but it's not to try to charge you for the information. It's because of the hotel we have it at a classy hotel. We're going to provide you with all type of amenities and things of that nature. That's why the cost is. And over the next week or so, we're going to send somebody free. As a matter of fact, if I can get one person right now who's watching that can go between October the 12th, they're going to have night services and day services, Thursday night, Friday night and day, and Saturday morning. If there's one person that really needs to change their life for the women, if there's one lady on here right now that's not a member of the Word Church, okay? Thank you, Sister Smithson. If there's one lady on here, okay? If there's one lady on here that really would like to go and you need to be delivered. Thank you, Brother Crooks. Thank you, Brother Dwayne Crooks. If there's one person on here that really needs a life-changing event, for real, on a spiritual end. I'm going to send one person free of charge tonight. I wasn't even planning to do this. Y'all brought it up. I'm going to send one person. I got a question here. Matter of fact, let's just take questions. I'll finish the numbers another time. Let's take questions. Let's even pray for some people. Let's close like that. I can't be on here all night. I got to go to Norfolk. I got to go on the radio tomorrow morning. Come back to Richmond. Get my son. Go back to Norfolk and teach tomorrow night. Come, Man, it's crazy. It's crazy. The question, Marsh, Yehoshua, uh, Yehoshua Frazier says, NASA said they found alien life forms. Are they real? First of all, we got to identify NASA. NASA comes from the Nazis. NASA is not what you think. They are a private entity, just like the Bank of America is not America's bank. The Bank of America is the Japanese mafia, La Crucia. Okay? Just like the post office is not really a post office. It's a military branch. Okay? I got you. I got you. I need y'all to see this. Come on with the church stuff. Let's get some info. Uh-uh, Brother Carrington. I'm a, I'm a man of God before I'm anything. And I give you this stuff to, so that when it, when it comes back to it, you'll see how much you've been lied to in church too. I got church people, non-church people, people smoking weed, people snorting dope, all kind of people listening to me. I have to feed everybody. I appreciate you though, 
but I got to give it to everybody. Yeah, now NASA, NASA is Nazi related. Yakuza. Thank you, Jerry Ross. The post office is a military branch. It's really the postal service. The post office shut down in the 60s. That's why you take a test and you can be sworn in for the military at, uh, at the post office because it's a military branch. The post office came from the Pony Express. The post office came from the Pony Express. They would take ponies from one place to deliver the mail to the next and tie the pony up to a post. And then they would get back on and go to the next location. That's how it's called the post office. It don't matter what y'all ask me. The Lord help me. I got an answer if God give me the strength. I'm taking questions right now about everything. The Bible, the government, the whole nine. Let's go right now. Quickly, I'm taking questions. Any questions? Deuteronomy 18, 14 through 68. I know what that's talking about. Talking about the curses. I am familiar that they have come over our people. Oh, yeah. I bear witness of that. Who else? Who else? Um, I don't know. I, my, my taste buds are changing these days, Brother Trent Hunter. What's your favorite? Battery test correct. I hope you ain't trying to crack, Brother Trent Hunter, because I like to crack. I ain't all the way. I'm 98% saved, not all the way. I like to crack. Let me pull up your profile picture. Can I do it? Oh, we got a dumb. Oh, we got a dummy in here. I knew it. Somebody mad. Somebody's mad. We just threw a block party. We just threw a block. We just threw a block party. I'm taking questions. When did God put it on your heart to do it? I don't know. You know what? I spent a year not even talking. I, Pastor Chris Crazy, I spent a year. No, they ain't ready because, listen, I talk about myself. I crack all the time. They ain't nothing. They ain't about enough. One thing about it, I'm going to tell you straight up. Say whatever you want. I know I'm handsome. I don't know what you know, but I know what I know. And anybody who know that, ain't nothing wrong with your eyes. But to answer your question, I, for a year, I just went quiet. I went through a lot of things personal in my life. And while I was going through those things personal in my life, David Smith says the gospel of John. I'll talk about the gospel of John David Smith. Give me a minute. Uh, let me say this. God bless you, prophet dispute. Let me say this. I posted warfare prayers for a year and I did nothing else on Facebook. I didn't even comment. I left it quiet. I, mean, I didn't bother nobody. I stayed to myself. I dealt with my personal life for a year. And then one day I just decided to go live. That's it. Pastor, I ask you what's going on with these demons, witches on back. Haven't, haven't busted me in a long time, but they've been popping up. The witch riding your back is an attack of witchcraft. I was asked this on Sunday. I've had that to happen when you feel like you can't move. It is a true, it is a true uh, demonic attack. And it is a true occurrence. And most of us have been through it, but just learned to ignore it. <laughs> yes, I'm not even going to get started because as we get closer to Halloween, I'm going to expose that too. Warfare wins, and that's when y'all gonna stop. The numbers are gonna go down because y'all churches still doing trunk or treat, still doing trick or treat, Halloween, dressing up like Jesus, dressing up like angels and the devil. And when I go in and tear that to pieces, then what? Two spirits, J.D. Cooper mentioned incubus and succubus. Current Gates says the first day I met you at a radio station on Hall Street, you told me about what I was going through. 
You are truly anointed. To God be the glory, Sister Curran. That had to be a while back, but God be, to God be the glory. Isaiah 45 and 20. Y'all got to write the scripture. Let me know exactly what it say. I'm familiar with the 45th chapter of Isaiah, but give me the exact words if you're asking a question. Come on, y'all. I'm taking questions before I go. I'm taking questions before I go. It can be questions about anything about the scriptures or the government. Good for you, Sister April, and good to see you. I'll let y'all know. Stay on my page. I hope y'all learned something and got something out of this tonight. I hope it was worth it. I got many more numbers to go over, and I will go over them on our next Warfare Wednesday. And I explain to you how these numbers work. I, I promise. Let me say it that way. Any more questions about the Bible or anything? It can be about anything. Malika White says, I love your church. And one day I told somebody I was going to join your church. They told me it wouldn't be a good thing for me. I'm going to tell y'all this again. Sister Shonda Green, you're going to have to... Oh, hold on. My youngest daughter, a dream of a green snake coming up the side of her bed. Okay, the questions are coming fast. For those that have been told not to come to my church, let me answer this again. All you got to do is come to my church. They put lies on the internet about me. They make up all kind of stuff. They say we're, we're full of young rebels. My church full of old people. I got deacons ranging from 33, 32 years old, 33, to about, I'm far from a church full of young, yes, I told them cut the check, and what is going on for, for the sister that asks about joining my church, you're welcome to come, but I don't bust, listen to me, I don't go all my way trying to get members, if I did, I wouldn't preach against the stuff I preach. Okay, I don't go on my way. I tell people all the time, I'm not a puppet. I don't have no hand in my back. I'm not a hoe. You can't buy me, and I'm not feeling fitting to sell myself. I'm going to tell you the truth. If you don't like the truth, go on down the street to the other church where everybody can come and not hear the truth, and you can give your money to be lied to. Sister Chandra Green is right here. She says, come see it for yourself. She came out. She just came. She joined church Sunday. She's been coming out for weeks watching the church. We have a church full of older, wise, loving people that love the people of God. The only people that's telling you stay away from my church are people who know I'm preaching stuff that their church won't preach and they're scared that they're going to get exposed. That's it. Please ask more questions. In the Gospels, why does the Synoptic Gospels, I guess you mean report, Jesus asked the disciples to keep his divinity a secret? That's a good question. David Smith, I can't get into that deep tonight, but I'm going to give you a quick answer. One of the greatest mysteries about the Bible that people don't know, and this is going to sound confusing, is that God did not, God did not intend for everybody to know the truth. And I know that sounds crazy, but I can explain. One of the greatest, one of the greatest, I repeat, one of the greatest tools of coming to be like God and to know God is to know evil. God always uses evil to teach us good. And I don't have time to get all the way into it, David, but in my church on Sundays, we give you programs. You can write down that question. And I walk the dogs in the park on that question. I answer all questions live every Sunday. I take all questions. Okay? Yes, that's because you're dealing with Gospels. Gospels are different accounts. Parables are mysteries. And the parables, thank you, Pastor Moore. Pastor Chris just said it. Parables are mystery. And mysteries, watch this. That are not meant for people to understand. We were told in the church growing up. Parables are to help you understand the Bible. That's a lie. God said he gave you parables. So seeing 
seeing would not see, and hearing you would not hear. God uses the blindness of people to bring salvation. You said, but that don't make sense. Think about this. Think about this. If the people who crucified Jesus, they would have never crucified him. God used their ignorance. Ted Daughtery says, why don't preachers talk about Revelation? I do every single week. I tackle the book of Revelation from front to back. Ask me anything you want about Revelation. I'll smoke it right here in front of you. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. But to answer your question, evil is a necessary element to come out to the good. Okay, that is why all things work together for good, because the things that must work together is good and evil. Apollo 11 is a mission. Yes. We're going to get to 13, too. That's why you got Gogo 13, Apollo 13. That's why you foul for. Uh, you didn't have to ask me about evil. That explains why certain information looks like it's left out and you need to come out to get the rest of the answer, Brother David Smith. A real understanding, that's what I'm going to have to do. But thank you for your question. There are no inconsistencies in the Bible. There are inconsistencies with your understanding, David Smith, respectfully. Anything that you find as an inconsistency or a contradiction is in your own thinking and in your own understanding. God don't make any mistakes, sir. Thank you. Area 51, that's really important. We're going to talk about other. Are the four horsemen, are they going to come? This is going to blow your mind. I hope you're ready for this, Sister Marsh. And it's not, Brother Marsh, it's not going to make sense unless you come and get the study. The four horsemen are not really four horsemen. The word, the number four in Revelation is a symbol for the whole. Four represents the whole, like the four corners of the earth. It's really one horseman that's coming in four different stages and manifestations. One of the horsemen is Jesus. As a matter of fact, and I'm going to show you that, but people don't know that. That's why one of the horsemen comes and he comes to get rid of peace. Jesus said in the scriptures, think not that I come to bring peace, but a sword. But people have no idea how God is actually the author. I don't have scripture in front of me. However, it is factual that the length of Jesus ministry varies. That just is gospel accounts. Let me try this again, David Smith. If you are in the car, if David Smith and myself, if we are in the car with Pastor Chris Moore and Sister uh, Shanice Fox, I don't know. She just came in the room. If all of us are in the car and we all get in a car accident, all of us are going to give different accounts. None of us are trying to tell a lie. But we're all going to give up. One of us might have been asleep. One of us might have been wide awake. Another one of us might have been texting. Those are called accounts. It doesn't mean that they contradict. Now, Dana Love says, what about the rapture? There is no rapture. There is no rapture. That's another lie like the rest. The rapture was given to you by the Catholic Church. There's a young girl I want y'all to go research named Margaret McDougall. Margaret McDougall is widely accepted as the person that created the theory of the rapture. Jesus is coming back, but it's not called a rapture. Any more questions? Keep them coming. Hell on earth? Now that's relative. For some people, you live in hell on earth. That's a relative thought. First of all, we need to do a teaching on what is hell. I'm here to tell you nobody is in hell right now in a place called hell underground burning. And nobody is in a place called heaven. I hear you, Brother Stokes. Heaven is not what you think. Nobody is in a place called heaven or hell. That's right, Pastor Chris. Excellent point. I already did, David Smith. You're going to have to come out and see me. I answered your question four different times. I don't know how else to tell you about what an account is. My account, your account are not necessarily contradictions. They're different views and how we express those views of what we saw. That's all that is. No one is in heaven, Marsh. Uh, Yehoshua's, nobody is in, and I, I'm sorry if I said your name wrong, nobody is in heaven or hell, that is all fable, 
Don't believe that. When the preachers tell you that at funerals, the Bible never taught that. And I can give you more teaching. Come on to the Word Church and I'll show you. Hinduism is a false religion. It's where you get a lot of other religions. Hinduism is one of the earliest religions that most religions are offspring of or they come out of. Even yoga, yoga comes from Hinduism. Just to give you a quick thought on Hinduism. What else? There is no purgatory. There's no such as, there's no waiting room. No waiting room, y'all. Don't worry, Malika White. Come to the world. Come to the word, church. Muslim. Shakita Foster says, Sister Shakita says Muslim. Islam was created by the Catholic Church, and people don't know that. Islam is a corporation, by the way. People don't know that. Islam is the worship of the moon. Brother Kevin Howe, that's too broad of a topic, brother. You got to be more specific because I'll be all night doing that. The dead people, according to the Bible, are in the grave. Dead people don't go anywhere. Tell your preachers, stop lying, talking about where you're going to go. I used to say it every Sunday. I'm guilty. Where would your soul go if you die? Nowhere. Dead things don't go anywhere. Psalms chapter 6 verse 5 says, the dead can't give thanks, can't give praise. So to answer your question, nobody's in heaven. Nobody's ever been to heaven. Turn to John chapter 3 verse 13 right now and you'll see who's been to heaven. The difference between Muslim and Christian is, Christians are a false religion that believes in worshiping the sun. And Muslims worship the moon and that's why they beef. It's always been the worship of silver and gold, the sun and the moon. Jesus was not a Christian. Jesus did not have a religion called Christianity. Jesus said, be ye holy. I don't know where y'all get Christianity from. That got here about 300 years ago. So that got here 300 years ago. I did not say that there's no heaven or hell. Don't y'all tell that lie. Heaven is in the Bible and so is hell. But you got to know what they are. What books are taken from the Bible? There's a big argument and the term, I teach a class called canonization. Canonization talks about how the Bible was put together and what was taken out, what was put, uh, who edited the Bible. I talk about the editors like Ezra. Ezra was an editor of the Bible. Okay? Y'all need to come out Sunday and Tuesday and stop. Thank you, Sister Doretha. Read what she just said. They want me to give them all that they can't get on a Sunday somewhere else. Come out and stop cheating yourself. Brother David Smith, I think you know what the word candy means. I think you're testing me, but I ain't fitting to take a test. If you know the answer, then praise the Lord. If you don't, come to the Word Church, 4108 West Clay Street, 12 noon every Sunday. So why do they say you'll see your loved ones again? Because they lied or they, they don't know better. And I'm one of them. Everything I'm talking about, I'm pretty much guilty of it. So I'm not, I'm not talking to I have patience for everybody. Ezra was also the editor, David Smith. Don't play with me because I'll take that Bible and show you what to do with it, sir. I said Ezra was also the editor of the first five books of the Bible. One of the editors of the Old Testament, rather. Remember, Moses was responsible for writing Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. But there's a problem. The last chapter of Deuteronomy, the last chapter of Deuteronomy talks about Moses' death. Moses couldn't write about his own death. What happened is an editor came in and finished off the book of Deuteronomy. That's what happened. <laughs> Stretch current is saying you never die. I disagree. I disagree. I can show you a graveyard right across from Creighton Court to tell you that's wrong. How he edited when he wrote it.
I don't know what that means. Do I know what answer? Come on, Bashim, Israel. Tell me what you're talking about. I already know how this going to go. The Shabbat is the Sabbath. The Sabbath, the original Sabbath according to the law is Saturday. Anything else? It says I'm being tested. You don't go to heaven. Heaven is in you, Dana Love. Jesus said the kingdom of God is within you. Revelation 21 says, I saw the holy city coming down. If the holy city is going to be coming down, why are you singing, I'll fly away? I'm going up. If you're going up while it's coming down, wave bye-bye because you're going to miss it. Why church is not keeping it? I don't know. I can't answer what church is doing. I can only talk about the word church. You're going to have to ask churches why churches ain't keeping it. I already see what's getting ready to happen. We're just answering a few questions before I'm going to bed. I already know who I, what kind of spirits I'm working with now. I don't want to become a pastor because I don't know what I'm talking about. I got answers, so keep them rolling. Is the word church keeping it? The word church is in Christ. When you're in Christ, Jesus said, I'm Lord of the Sabbath. So as long as we are in Christ, we find rest in him. You find rest now, brother Israel, because I, I think it's brother Israel. If it's not, then it's sister. I apologize. I can't see your I, I can't see your I, your uh, profile. But let me clear this up real quick. Let me clear this up real quick. If you keep one day as the Sabbath, you ain't doing enough, but you're doing too much because keeping one day holy is nothing when you got six days living like the devil. Under the New Testament, we find rest in Christ. We don't rest one day from ironing clothes, going, uh, going to the dump and, and mowing the lawn. We rest every day from the, from the works of the flesh, which is sin. That's how we do it. Yeah, that's right, Brother Jerry. They find rest in the law, but they don't get no rest like that. And the Bible says if that rest that they had in the Sabbath, if that rest was good, there would be no need for another rest. Is the Bible referred to as the Helios Biblios? Uh, I think I know what you mean when you say that, brother Kevin. I, I want to make sure to answer. For, um, the word Bible simply means Biblios. Biblios means a group of books. That's all it is. Books put together. There's nothing in the Bible that's called the Bible. The Bible is simply a descriptive word describing the books that were put together. Biblios, a group of books. Give me the next question. What is sin? Sin is missing of the mark and or, watch this, because this is where you're going to miss it. You want me to say the breaking of the law. That's part of it. But sin is also your body. Our bodies are sin. Give me the next question. I ain't going to do this every time, but I just want to show you. It don't matter what you come with. If you pitch it, we're going to bat it out the park. That's fine. Sin is transgression of the law. I'll go with that. I don't have a problem with that. Not trying to be in church. Let's talk about the world. I talked about the world for an hour and a half. Stop being selfish, Stretch Carrington. God, no. What is the law of the Sabbath? I just told you. Man, I'm not going to if y'all want to act like y'all keeping the law, go right ahead. None of y'all keeping it. Every last one of y'all breaking it. So go right ahead. If you break one law, you're guilty of them all. Next. The whole United States of America is being tormented. America is a hypocritical nation. We are in trouble because we are, we are so... Uh, how can I say it? Loyal to a, nothing in the world that would give Israel more trouble than that, or give us more trouble than being loyal to Israel. Next,
Me too, Sister April. Me too. Why do we have to know about your church? What are you talking about? Let me help you out real quick. You ain't got to know about nothing. Now you ain't got to know about nothing. See that? That's a sign like the Ghostbusters. Goodbye. You keep on hollering about why we got to know about your church. I'm not even talking about my church. I'm answering the questions that the people are asking me. What that got to do with my church? He want to know about the world. He want to know everything from this pastor, but don't want nothing to do with the pastor church. Oh, all right. Negro, please. Name one thing God did for you that you can directly attribute to him. He created me. How's that? I'm getting ready to go to bed. Because next time, by the way, not everybody, but some of them being silly. I don't put out information. Can't nobody get. Look at Joseph Washington talking about prove it. I'm here and you here. That's how. I'm here. How did you get here, sir? Did you create yourself? Bye. Next. Yeah, man. I'm sorry. I tried to do it. March. I don't know what else to say. They can't tell me what to say, though. Y'all ain't going to do that. If the Jews and Israel are fake, is Deuteronomy talking about black people? The Jews in Israel, are not, I, I'm not necessarily saying that they're fake. I'm saying that the Jews that call themselves Jewish, like Jerry Springer, like Reinsdorf, like uh, Rockefeller, like Greenspan, those are fake Jews. Okay? That's what I'm saying. Who or what is holy? God is holy. And through him, he will make us holy. After a process in which he creates in us a clean and a brand new heart. Next question. Says it. Yep. All right, y'all. Before we had some folks to come in and try to derail the party. I think we got a good wealth of information about Vegas and about how this stuff is scripted. I'm going to go in deeper and explain more. And what I might do, what, what, may, what I may have to do is, uh, what time is it? It's 11 before Sunday and pray for some people. Good night, Sister Fields. God bless you. Yeah, y'all, please share this video. Can we flood the timelines? Dana Love, you got to come out and see me for real. Thank you, Sister Shonda Green. Evangelist Boy, you still woke. Karen Gates says, if, see, I got real people that got real questions. If, if there's no heaven, no, I didn't say there's no heaven. There is a Look, she mad. You stayed in here for an hour and a half and listened to me yell about nothing. You ain't got no life. You just told on yourself. You sat in here and took all this information because the people in your camp couldn't get to you. And now you want to try to front on us. See you later, baby. Love you. Goodbye. Now you ain't going to better hear this truth no more. You sneak and create a fake profile so you can come hear this truth. Tell me why you mad. Um, sister, I'm sorry, sister, uh, Lord, has heaven. there is a heaven and I need to explain better. It's just that people are not there. If y'all listen to me for an hour and y'all say I did nothing but yell and ain't said nothing. I don't know what to do for y'all. I can just not come on live no more and go back to the word church. I'm doing fine. Just there. I don't need this. I really don't. Just let me know. I ain't tripping.
Are the Jewish people the people who were allowed to con convert but was not blood? Well, the Bible talks about something that I can't get into. It's called spiritual. It's called spiritual Jews. Romans 2.28 said he is not a Jew that is one outward, but he is a Jew that is one inward. I would have no, Brother Wood said nothing right now on Fridays or Saturdays. I'm sorry. Where you live at, Dana Love? Request me as a friend and inbox me. I'm get you for sure. Our van should be up. Hopefully, before the end of this year, we'll have our vans and everything the way they need to be. I knew they was doing that anyway, Sister Cooper. If you listen to me, I made the comment. Thank you, Sister Deborah Scarborough. When I saw them, yes, when I saw them, Israel, I saw them. I told, if y'all listen to me, I said, I know what's going on. I ain't no fool. I just want them to know I don't run. How come, how come they can't get nobody just to go listen to them? When I get on here, you got a hundred people live at every time. I step on the a year off and didn't even come on Facebook. Y'all couldn't get nothing going. I'm confused. Thank you, Sister Keita. Yeah, I don't play. I love people, but I don't got time for foolishness, man. For real. Ain't nothing I won't do for people. I promise you that. I fight for you. I pray with you. I do it all. But I ain't tripping about them. them, them particular people, I'm not even going to call their name because I'm not giving no bad. They chase me around, they follow me around, they stalk me. One of them pulled up to me at the gas station. Man, I ain't, I, listen, I ain't tripping. My name on Facebook is Pastor Rob Scarborough. Pastor Rob Scarborough. Go ahead and send me the request now. I'm more receptive, but I mean, if they ask me a question, Brother Joseph, I'm going to answer the question. You know, you just can't tell me how to answer the question. That's all. Respectfully. And I appreciate how you said that. And they need to understand, too, that you know, I'm not really only here to have like a big discussion. Like I'm not searching for the truth from people, meaning in terms of religion. Let me say that I'm searching for truth in terms of natural things. But in terms of Jesus, the Holy Spirit and the word of God is my final authority on truth. I'm not on here looking to mix religions and run around. I'm, I'm, listen, there has to be some balance as to what we believe. The biggest problem with church folks is they don't know what they believe. If you can't listen to me, let me tell you something right now. If you can't write down the things you believe and articulate them or put them in writing, you don't know what you believe. Yes, one of the things I teach is that black people were the original uh, people spoken of in the scripture. No question about it. Okay, I'm going to accept it, Sister Dana. I'm going to accept it. Church people don't know what they believe. I promise you. The average denominational church don't know what they believe. If you, if you come to the word church regularly, every one of my members are trained, they could take on the average minister easily if they're faithful to coming. All right, y'all, I'm getting ready to close this deal. It's been fun. Talk about this. Talk about this. To all the people that's watching me and they're going to make videos and chase behind me, y'all leave me alone. I ain't tripping off y'all. Just, I mean, listen, if what you preaching is good, go start your life. See if you can get somebody to watch you. That's all. People are here, and I love you too, Sister April. 
God bless you, Sister Karen. Please come see me. Come see me. It would be an honor. Thank you, Evangelist Boy. Thank you, Sister Tierra, Blazing Barbie Cole. See you next week. Calvin Watts, the Bible never said money is evil. It's the love of evil is that what people will do for it because they love it. But thank you for your question, sir. I can't wait. The Lord's willing, it'll be soon. Dana Love. Everybody, good night. Please go back and watch this whole video. Thank you, Joyce. I love, I love all of y'all. All jokes aside, I really appreciate y'all joining me. Love you, T. Good night. Hey, man. Brother Lolo, you already know, man. Have a blessed night, sir. Blessed night. I'm praying for you too, Sister Gates. We're going to come on here and do ministry and prayer. So don't miss it. Ted, daughter, God bless you. They want to know why I yell? Because it's a passion. Because it's important to me. God bless you, Sister Chandra Green. So glad to have you. Hey, Sister Lisa Coleman Anderson. Good night. Shout out to you and your husband. Thank you, Sister Shamar. Virginia Marlene Coles, God bless you. Sister Shug Robinson, good night. Sister Steph Kizzy, I'll see you on Sunday. Elder McKay, good night, sir. Jacqueline Pugh, please go back and watch. I'm going to post it. Minister Coles, you already know I appreciate you, man. Thank you, Sister Shannon Tab. God bless you. I appreciate you. Brittany Gordon, good night. You be blessed. God bless you, Mother Graham. Your prayers should change when you get better information. Then your prayers are going to start being answered because you're going to be praying according to God's will. Sister Denise, you're so quiet, but good night. Good night. Good night to you. Shout out to all the codes that are joining me. Shout out to all the codes. Who else? Who else? Anybody learn anything tonight? All we'll also do some ministry. I might come on one day and do prayer this week before Sunday. Thank you and share this. Please share it and invite it. We gotta go. We got to go. Good night, Sister Sharon Kelsar Tompkins. Good night. God bless you. Thank you, Pastor. I'm to call Derek Thornhill Pastor. Uh-oh. All right, Brother Derek Thornhill. Thank you, Sister Lakeisha Pope. Always a pleasure. I did, Brother Stokes. We did it. Somebody was praying tonight, Jack. Somebody. Good night, Sister Foster. Thank you. Thank y'all. The numbers are dropping. I'm at 42 now. What y'all gonna do? Two hours of wishes of life. And got to get up in the morning and be in tired water to get back on the radio again. Good night. Y'all praying for you. Thank you, Sissiani. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. UB broadcast in Norfolk comes on 12 o'clock on Thursdays. 12 noon. It's on the internet. I can't think of. Somebody will post the information. 
of the station in Norfolk. Hey, Brandon, what's up, man? Thank you, bro. Good to good. Listen, you know we got to do better. That's all I'm going to say. Go back and check out the beginning of the videos for those that came in late. I exposed to you what took place in Vegas by the numbers, how all these events are scripted together, how the football games are scripted. I'm calling the games now, giving you the numbers before the game even comes on, in many cases. Please share this and like it. Please. And we're going to call it a night.